question number 14 of the Philnitz FE morning portion of the exam. In this question, we are given a data that is continuously sent for T seconds from the sending task to the receiving task in the diagram below. When the volume of data sent in one second is S and the volume of data received in one second is R, which of the following is the appropriate relational expression indicating the buffer size L to prevent buffer overflow? Here, the sending task has a higher transfer speed than the receiving task, and there is a sufficient time interval until the start of the next transfer. Okay, in this question, uh, I think uh, the part about the buffer size is going to be crucial. And actually, before I was able to arrive with the correct answer, which is letter D, I had to think so, some more about what it is that is happening with the buffer. Uh, because uh, as we can see here, the parts about the sending task having a higher transfer speed than the receiving task should already give us an idea that what we're going for, for example, in this case, uh, would be uh, something like this, S minus R and not R minus S because if the sending task is higher than the receiving task, the speed is higher, then if we put R first and then the uh, sending task the S next then we will get a negative number right uh, because the sending task is supposed to be higher in terms of transfer speed than the receiving task and so I thought that it looks like it's going to be an S minus R now the part about times T I think because if you look at all the choices they all have times T then we don't need to think too much about that part However, this part where you got the buffer size L, is it greater than or equal to uh, this uh, S minus R and then you do a times T or is it something else? And that's why I had to think more about what is this buffer size L? What is happening with this buffer size L? And it says here that um, what should be the appropriate relational expression indicating the buffer size L to prevent buffer overflow okay so therefore if we understand that we are sending tasks to the receiving task and the transfer speed is higher in the sending task which means that we can send more and more and more uh, but the receiving task of course can't receive more and more and more we need a buffer to at least hold some of the uh, tasks sent um, but the part here where what should be the buffer size L to prevent buffer overflow and when we think about buffer overflow that means that if for example sending task uh, this part here is is continuously sending more more and more and more and the buffer size can't hold it anymore then we get an overflow the problem which is overflow and what we want to focus on is how to prevent that okay and if we look at the equation in letter D it looks like we just make it larger larger or equal to uh, whatever would be the difference between the sending task and the receiving task so even though we get something really high here we just make the buffer so much higher and I thought that that uh, pretty much solves the buffer overflow problem okay because if it's less than uh, the the amount of tasks being sent then it's going to overflow it's going to be more than um, what the buffer can hold what the buffer can contain and so we'll get the problem of overflow right so that's why uh, if we make this greater than or equal to then the buffer size can just be so much higher uh, whatever number that may be and that's also the problem okay so in this case the correct answer is letter D